Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome to my world, a little indie game where when I first saw it, it immediately struck me as little big planet, but instead of platformers, action RPGs. And that sounded pretty cool to me, so I had my eye on it and I was recently offered a key for it, so I thought to myself, well, let us jump in and take a look at what it has to offer. Alrighty then, as you can see, I, I've played a little bit on my own off camera. Uh, partly because I had to fiddle around a bit to get it to record properly, because for whatever reason my recording software didn't want to play nicely. But, uh, yeah, here we are. This is our little hub world where we start off. We're playing as Bucket Knight, as you can see over there, and we'll go get a better look. You can play as a number of characters, including Nightman, Skeleton Nightman, Big Boss Nightman, Lady Nightman, and Bucket Boy. And over there we can play worlds that other people have made. We can create our own worlds over there. We can go into multiplayer over there. There's some basic tutorial-y stuff right here, which we'll take a look at by the by. But I think for this first quick look, we will jump in and just kind of look at an example of some of the uh, pre-created stuff. Also, uh, something that I feel I probably should have mentioned right from the beginning of the episode, but uh, you know, better late than never, is that uh, the game is very much in early access, so uh, it, the amount of stuff in it is a bit limited right now, but as it continues to develop, I imagine we will see more and more. And I off-camera kind of fiddled around with these two, and they were kind of similar in the sense of the enemies and stuff like that. I mean, they they looked different. Each one was had different design and stuff to the level. But the enemy variety is just a touch lacking, at least in these two levels. So uh, this sounds like something completely different. I mean, Greendale Keep, Greendale Arena, those sound like they'll be kind of similar. So let's go to the Mushroom Realm and see if that plays any differently. Alrighty then. Welcome to the Mushroom Realm, which is totally not affiliated with the Mushroom Kingdom in any way. Hello there, Mr. Peasant Man. Cider! We are fresh out! Can you ask what the brewer is playing out? He's outside, I think. Alright. Don't worry. Bucket Boy is on the case with his mop of many uses. None of them include mopping, though. Also, I didn't try this, but can I just jump to my death? Huh. I, I can't get back up, right? Nope. Uh, F1 for help? Oh, yeah, T to teleport, back to the checkpoint. Gotcha. I'll, I'll leave this open so you can see the controls. And so that I don't forget them. Because I will inevitably forget them. Ooh, pumpkins. Any game that has pumpkins in it is alright by me. Even better if it has pumpkin pie. Alright, let's make some cider later. We're fresh out of cider at the tavern. As the master brewer, it's my job to restock. However, it's getting harder. Enchanted mushrooms are popping up. They love the taste of apples. Really? I guess that makes sense. I mean, uh, mushrooms are a fungus? Uh, that doesn't sound right. Is it? Yeah. Because mushroom, fun guy, you know, the whole joke there. Anyway. Or wait. Anyway. Could you run down to the orchard and grab me some? Yeah, sure, why not? We have to kill some mushroom warriors, apparently. Also, Video games have taught me anything, it's that you should smash all the pots, because you never know what's going to be inside them. We have a sign. That does not have many uses, it's just a sign. Nothing exciting about- ooh, there's the apple. Alright. Alright, this is already a refreshing change of pace from fighting all the skeletons in the last two levels. So there is, in fact, a bit of variety already, but, uh, yeah. Alright. Probably should have expected that with the example levels being, you know, mostly just focused on showing off stuff. Nifty, nifty. Press U to speak. Woo, apples! One more task before you go, though. Oh, a new quest. Excuse me. Brew house. Okay, now we've got the apples. Can you visit the brew house? Haven't been able to get in there for weeks. It's totally overrun. It's the gray house through the metal fences. It needs some brewing glasses. Sure thing, boss. 
Though, uh, what would you have done if I hadn't come by? That's my question. Hmm. What do you have to say? Could you spare some gold or food? We are very poor people. Oh, cool! Hmm. I wonder who you are. That's a good question. Oh, that's cool. He actually cowers away. Sorry, I have no quest for you. Anything else to say to me? That's right. Cower before the mop of many uses. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I got hit by a sparrow in the knee. <laughs> oh, God! Oh. That didn't seem to do much damage at all. Ow. Oh, God. Spear. Spear. Up. One. One. Oh, God. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, dear. Stop killing your brethren. Ooh, can I attack the giant mushroom? Oh, yeah. Nothing inside it, though. It's you again, Mr. Giant Mace-wielding guy. Now, what do I do to heal again? E. There we go. Oh, God. They're coming for me. Ah! Jeez, watch yourself, Mushroom Man. Also, I could be locking on to them, but, uh... I mean, who needs to lock on, right? There we go. Out of the way. Okay. Come on. Yeah, take that. Ah, more skeletons. There's always skeletons, aren't there? And I don't know what we do if we didn't have skeletons. Take that! And that! Bow before the might of the mop of many uses, my friend. Yes. Take that. Out of the way, candles. I don't have time for you. Nice. Ah, sturdy beer kegs, or cider kegs, rather. Always good to have. You wouldn't want that cider slipping out and escaping. And if any old wanderer with his mop of many uses could just smash it, then what good would it be? What good would it- what was this? The blight will consume us all- ooh, you're referencing that ever level. The very first level. I also wonder if that's specifically referencing the Wheel of Time series in any way. Thanks! I can start brewing a new batch! And we've leveled up! Did I get bigger? I feel like I got bigger when that happened. Also, I didn't keep exploring. Is there any... anything else? What's this? You bring in news of the blight? Yeah, it's okay. I killed the... I killed the guy in there. I killed the boss. He was called the boss. He was not as boss-like as you would think, actually, so... Don't worry about it. Hello? Grim Reaper dude. Ow. Listen, bro. <laughs> you call yourself a Reaper. I have... I've fought worse. Oh, dear. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. Ah, bonfire time. There we go. Fully arrested, fully healed. Oh, I see you, mushroom men. I see you. Hey. Dodge roll into them all. Plan was to, you know, do my awesome spin attack and kill them all, but apparently it was not to be. Let's, uh. Let's, oh god. I'm not gonna get killed by some punk ass mushroom. Who do you think I am? You know, some lesser knight? I'm Bucket Boy. How dare you question the might of Bucket Boy? I mean. Oh dear! That's just cheap. Oh, sir. Yeah, that's right. Bow before the might of the mop of many uses. There we go. Get wrecked. There we go. Alrighty then. Nifty place. Any secrets back here? Nope. Someday, though. Oh, hello. You're, uh... You're just walking into that wall there, huh? Let me help you. And clearly you're tired of life. Oh wait, is it because it's a secret wall? No. It's not an- or an illusory wall? However you want to call it. Ooh, this- this does not look very friendly. I'm gonna, uh... Hang on, hang on guys, hold on. Calm- calm yourselves. Alright, let's get our superpowers going. And spin a jig Oh, come on. Oh, come on! I lost my superpowers. Stupid, stupid bonfire. 
Oh dear. Come on. Now you look slightly different. Ha ha ha! Okay, double spin attack. Oh dear. Not, not good. Not good. Alright, let's just uh, put on our... Oh, you were not that difficult at all. Ah! Leave me alone. You know who I am? You don't know who I am, do you? I can forgive that. I am Bucket Boy. Oh god, no! 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 Roll out of the way. Oh my. That was probably not the most ideal time to... Oh god, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck in the wall. Come on, man. Have some mercy on poor Bucket Boy. Like, what did I do? Did I, did I kill your father or something? Was that Mushroom your father? It was your father, wasn't it? Come on. Oh ho! I killed your father, I'll kill you! Oh, and I did, what do you know? I was not expecting that to work. Well timed, though, well timed. I feel bad for his father, though. Just a poor Mushroom trying to make his way in the world. Oh dear! Listen, stop that. Stop that artillery piece. Like, who do you think you are? Oh, there's Spooky Tree. Ooh. The Moonlight Mushroom. I like that. That should be the name of a boss. Be like the Moonlit Moth. Wait, was that a boss in any of the Souls games? Moonlit Moth? I don't think so. Oh, sh! It's you again! You're the boss of every level. Which leads me to believe you're the only boss right now. Uh-oh. Watch out. Superpowers away! Come on. You feel like a Souls villain. Ooh, that, that hurt. That hurt. Alright. Get your hits in. Oh, and probably back away, because I'm also low on stamina now. Oh, you silly man. Whoop! And then, ooh. I didn't think you could reach me from over there. Apparently you could, so. Okay, get in the hits. 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 One more hit. Oh, you silly man. You think you can beat Bucket Boy in his mop of many uses? Oh dear. No, no. Please no. Hubris gets us all in the end. But not as much as it got you. Aha! Boss defeated. Well done. Who do I go back to to... Oh, I hit you. Oh, I, I hit T by accident, didn't I? Huh. Well, let's go open our treasury chest and see what we got out of it. I think that's it for now, though, to be honest. As far as this level is concerned. Unless there's secrets out here in the darkness. Just some nice spooky music. Very spooky. Very, uh, very dark. The world just keeps on going from here, so... I think it is safe to assume there is... There is not for us back there. Kinda wondering if levels actually do anything. Considering the fact that... Uh, from what I can tell, they're shared across all characters, and additionally, they don't appear, or, like, if they're shared across all characters and all levels, I, I mean, are they there just kind of, like, for prestige purposes? Like, oh, look, I'm level 99. I have played this game so much more than you. Thus, I am clearly an expert. Listen to what I say. Give me all the loot. So on. There's no way out of here. We're trapped. The real joke is on us. We may have beaten the boss. But in beating him, we are now trapped here forever. And thus, we must become the new boss for the next generation of adventurers to come through. Or we can just hit the home key and go home. Alrighty then. So that's just a quick look at uh, my world, this game, as it is so far. We'll, we'll probably play a few more of the pre-created worlds and check out the workshop stuff, see what other people may have made. And we'll also, of course, have to make our own world, because what is the point in playing a game whose major selling point is that you can make your own worlds and your own levels and stuff, if you're not going to make your own levels? That would be crazy. That would be madness. But yeah, anyway. 
this, this is just a quick look so far, and maybe someday we'll get some multiplayer going. I'm not going to promise anything on that front, but you never know. Uh, but for now, that is, of course, going to do it for this particular first look, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I look forward to doing a couple more videos at least. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, as with anything new on the channel, it is also, of course, extra special important at the end to leave me some comments. Let me know what your thoughts are or what you think of this game. And with that said, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or, like I just said, leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all of you in the next video.